Hello and welcome to Pop Jack 2. This time we're going to be seeing the fucking Oracle again because we got another ability to go for. So let's go ahead and see him and get our thing by paying him a lot of fucking gems because he's bullshit. The Metalheads have always feared you, angry one. Even now, the Metalhead leader realizes you can destroy him and save the last chance for our race. You now have control of another dark power. And now we know the Duck Blast, which is this. Has its uses, but uh, right now, not really. It's, again, not gonna be that useful. Right, so what we're actually doing is we're going to, uh, you know, to the Baron's Fortress. We're gonna take the elevator up, because we've activated it now. And we're going to check out what he's doing. The problem is, I do have to get over to it, it's not too far away, but this is a one-off area. We won't be coming back to this area ever again, so yeah, because th there's no need, really. But this bit of an area can be kind of confusing to navigate through. It has some bits where the camera isn't very helpful, essentially. It's going to be kind of stupid and not very helpful. And it might blind you. So you gotta be careful with this one because the platforming here is just gonna be dumb. Also, I'm sometimes you can actually sort of tap a, uh, a Crimson Guard's vehicle and it won't alert them. I don't get why. But they'll allow it for some reason. Anyway, off we go. Very fast elevator. Of course, then just abruptly stops at the end and might get bumped up to the air. Right behind us is a uh, orb, by the way. Grab it. It's 59 of them. We're getting close. We now we're getting a lot of them. But yeah, uh. Now we're over here. This is basically the rooftop area, and there's a lot to go through. We're basically on a line, and I don't get what a line has all this shit like platforms and turrets and uh, heat panels here. But hey, it's there, and also I get stuck there, and also uh, that shit. Yeah, there's a lot to digest, even if it doesn't make much sense with uh, how this all works in the fortress's favor. I honestly don't know how most of this is supposed to be useful, because you already have this giant line here. I don't get the rest of this at all. Just some weird design. That would be very useful for us to actually get to the rooftop here. Which I don't think the Baron really wants many people to actually get through. Also, I don't consider the Baron's- oh fuck's sake. I don't consider the Baron's, uh, you know, Crimson Guards to be very athletic. So I don't know how he expects them to be able to swing around on these fucking things and shit. Maybe they have some kind of boots or whatever to handle the, uh, the heat-seeking ship. But then you have this ship right behind this turret, where it's like there's spikes, and they're moving, and... I don't, I don't get it. There's also some platforms to the side. Like, what is this supposed to be about? Like, I... What is happening here? What sense does this actually make with the Baron? He just has this fucking thing here around the pipe that is connected to his fortress and he's just fine with it? I don't even know what's going on with the fucking Baron, but I don't think he's very smart with, you know, architect design. But yeah, there's a lot of shit to go for. We got one on the orbs. We got another orb just down here. It's not hard, not that easy to miss, really. I mean, as you can see, fucking simple as shit. And then you got all this shit around here. You got all this way through. More heat being pushed downwards, have you find like that? And then you eventually get to a point where you have to sort of jump across from some turret which will keep going around and shooting and I don't get the logic of this why would you design this I 
Like, who would actually go onto the fucking water square? I mean, what the fuck, bear? Let me make it across, so we're pretty much right by to the window of his throne room. It's just right across from here, so... Let's go over and, uh... See what's going on in his throne room. Because he can't see us or hear us up here, so we're good. I've told you I will have more eco by week's end. We'll transport it directly to your nest, as promised. A deal is of no value if you can't deliver, my dear Baron. I grow impatient with your puny gestures. Give me the agreed upon ego soon, or the deal is off, and your precious city will pay the price. He's toying with us! Let me leave an assault on the nest before it's too late! I can take him! Patience, Commander. No one has ever penetrated the Metalhead Nest, you know that. I've seen what comes of such foolish plans. No. Strength is their weakness. We play helpless. We train them to eat from our hands. And then... Move forward with the plan! Tell Ashland to up her patrols. I want that tomb found. But your daughter has not been agreeable. Ah, I'll see to that problem. One way or another. Ashlyn is the Baron's daughter? And find that child! If you'd spent half as much time looking for the little brat as you spent flirting with that mechanic girl, we would have pinned his royal ass to a wall long ago. As you wish. With enough persuasion, I'm sure our spy. Rat flirted! What was that? God damn it, Daxter. We got a trophy and we have learned a lot, so let's get the fuck out of here before the Baron even has a chance to get to us. Also, can't climb this, so let's just go down this way and uh, try to find an exit somewhere. Better get my gun ready for anything that might be ahead. We should be fine, though. So, we have a rat in the walls, do we? A rat in his boy, it seems. Back for a few more Dark Eco treatments? Will allow me to put you both out of your misery! Right, this boss. So this is sort of a mini boss on the Baron, it's not the actual boss fight. In fact, we'll be fighting the Baron three times, essentially. It's... it's really stupid. But yeah, here's how this works. He's going to be shooting at us. It does have a force field, but it doesn't really matter since his force field is just an ammo count. We can shoot at him and he does, you know, get hurt no matter what. However, we can only shoot him in certain points because he has a delay on when the next damage point is. He's sort of invincible for a few seconds after you shoot him the first time. And, yeah, you just kind of keep doing this until he's down, and that's the first way for this fight down. After this, we have a second wave, and this wave is kind of a joke, really. You just kind of have to do the same thing, except this time he's going to be doing this bullshit, where he'll charge up, make sure he's fully up, and then he's going to start... He starts shooting down some missiles, and they're super easy to dodge, and they are kind of random, but it's just really stupid. It's the easiest phase, and if you actually die in this phase, I have no words for you. The third phase, however, is bullshit. Because he has three kinds of attacks in that one, as I believe it's free. He can, uh, sort of shoot at you. He can bring out these vortexes, which... Oh, God. And the easiest one to deal with is he'll charge at you. So, I do die here, unfortunately. I do get him the second time, though, because the Vortex is a bullshit because they go a very long distance, they move around in a circle pattern, and they're hard to miss. And they gain their way very easy like that, so... It is the most bullshit of his attacks, and all I can tell you is to get as far away from the attack as possible. Just keep moving to the very back wall away from him, don't get too near, because then his vortex might hit you. There's a charge, just do that move and you're fine. 
and just keep at it. Keep attacking him this way, and you'll win. Also, don't kick his fucking ride, because it will deal damage to you, and really not do anything to him. After a while, you should win this, no problem. Like so. The dark powers I gave you can protect you forever! Since I made you, I can destroy you. We'll meet again soon! Yeah, whatever. Bye-bye. And there you go. That was our first fight with the Baron. This part people usually have a problem with because they don't expect this really and they don't expect the third wave which is the hottest wave but wanted to get past the whole wave bullshit the uh the spiral attack once you know how to get past that super fucking easy by the way because all right at the end here right by the uh, elevator out of here a nice little bonus reward for us. Right. We're going back down and we're gonna be right at the entrance of the palace. No joke. This goes right down to the entrance area. But yeah, we don't really need to be here. We're getting the fuck out before the Baron can unleash his horde of guards at us. Which I'm surprised they are not around here at alert right now. Anyway, uh, what we gonna do next? Well, we're going right back to the hideout because we weren't really authorized to go in and start being a dickhead to the Baron. By the way, uh, we did get a lot of precursor odds, but we have not really gotten the Knuckles for it yet, so we're gonna have to wait a bit. But yeah, we did go in unannounced, and uh, we did have a fight with the Baron. We kick his ass, but I don't think people, things have gone well for the hideout now because of us, so let's go see Torn and uh, see if anything bad's happened since we've done that and pissed off the Baron so much now. The city's on high alert. What the hell did you two do? Us? Nothing. We've been um, sightseeing. Right, Jack? Really? Then why are the Crimson Guard looking for a dangerous young man with light hair, blue tunic, and a rabbit orange rat on his shoulder? Uh, could be anyone. Orange is the new black this season. Look, we climbed up to the Baron's palace, and we tripped a few alarms. Oh, right, that's who. What? I didn't authorize a strike on the- Hey, we kicked the Baron's ass. Unfortunately, he escaped. And we overheard a secret meeting with the leader of the Metalheads! You saw the Metalhead leader? No, he was on some communicator. But we heard him talking with Baron Praxis. The Baron is bribing the Metalheads with Eco! Hmm, it will never be enough. But the Baron's gonna double-cross him! Is that so? Well, our good Baron's wonderful charm must have angered someone, because there's word from the Wasteland that Metalhead armies are on the move again. Why didn't you tell me Ashlyn was Praxis's daughter? What's your connection with her? That's none of your business. Since you've stirred up the Wumpy's nest, you and Whiskers here get to move four of our people to new safe houses. Shuttle each agent to a location they specify. Move all of them without any casualties. Don't screw this up, Jack. Yeah, we've pissed Torn off. We've really fucked things up for the hideout. So yeah, we're now gonna bring four of their members to new hideouts. And we're timed on this. And as soon as we go for the first one, we automatically piss off the Crimson Guards. So, you know what to do. Once they're on high alert, we have to duck down to avoid the kamikazes and just book it. However, we have to stop every now and then for these guys to drop them off and to pick them up. We get a lot of time for it though, so you shouldn't have much trouble with this one. You shouldn't really fail this one at all, really. It's a really easy objective, really. I've been saying really a lot, haven't I? But it is easy. It's... The only time you might have problems with this is if your ride starts getting fucked over and on fire. In that case, just make sure you get to a different ride real quickly. And make sure it's double-decker. 
Do not go for a singular ride. Seriously. Never go for the single seat zoomers of this one. It's not worth it. You have so much fucking time that going in and taking a weak vehicle for this one is fucking retarded. Yes, it's faster, but you have, what, a minute to get these guys to bring up their spot every time? You have time. You have way enough time to handle this with double-decker fucking zoomer. So just take the double-decker zoomer and go. You can take a shitload of shots at this one. There's no issues. You won't fail this. But yeah, this is... This can be a bit of a stupid one because the AI can be stupid. And it will show in later missions that we have to do this uh, for okay, later sort of escort missions. Because this is an escort mission, essentially. We're escorting, uh, you know, all these members to new hideouts. Also, I am in the wrong fucking ship now, which is bad. Yeah, I need to get the fuck out and get to a double-decker. There we go. It's not easy to see when you're jumping up above on a zoomer, and you can't really tell which one you just grabbed, really. It can get dumb. But yeah, I'm gonna grab him. What took you so long? Now, these guys can die, but only in specific ways. Right now, they're fine. They can't die at all. But... Later mission we have to do this sort of shit. Yeah, it's it's gonna be stupid. It's gonna be really fucking stupid. And yeah, I do have to be up here a little bit in order to get across these bridges. So I gotta be a bit careful, make sure I know what I'm doing, not running into any motherfuckers. Yeah, see that motherfucker went for me. That will happen if you're not careful and you're up on above. But we're done. Yeah, well, we are going back to the hideout, because nothing else to really do right now. And uh, he does have something for us, something very interesting for us. So, let's go see what he wants. Yeah, nothing else. We'll have to go back to Torn, and yeah, we're still on alert. Let's just see what he wants from us, see if it's good or bad. Scouts report movement in Dead Town. Creatures moving toward the sacred site, just as before. What happened, uh, before? Metalheads broke through the old city wall. We fought them, but then the Baron pulled back, leaving everyone outside the new barrier to die. Only the Shadow stayed and somehow stopped the attack. And now you expect us to go out there again? You catch on fast. If you prevent the Metalheads from reaching the sacred site, the Shadow will be most grateful. He might even ask to see you. Hey, I'm probably wasting this, but here's a Vulcan barrel for that pea shooter of yours. Believe me, you're gonna need it. Right, the Vulcan barrel. Okay, a lot of people say this is their the best weapon in the game, right? A lot of people love this weapon. But we have a new location now. Not really, it's Dead Town, but we're going to a new area of Dead Town. Here's me of the Vulcan Barrel, though. I consider it the third best weapon. Or in this case, the second worst weapon. My reasoning for this is very simple. One, even if you have a build up, you don't have enough ammo ever for this fucking gun. This gun can use up all of its ammo in seconds compared to every other gun. Now, you might not say it's a bad thing because it's fast, but it's really bad when the game doesn't even give you many ammo boxes for this. The ammo for this gun is actually fairly sparse. So, yeah, it's 
that's kind of bad, considering you'll be using a lot of it real easily. But it gets worse. Because even though it does have the ability of being fast, it has the ability to stun lock and pull up to the air enemies. Now, this can be very useful. And for this enemy right here who is shooting shit at us, it is very useful. If we use our yellow gun, the blaster on him, he can still shoot at us directly if we just shoot him this way. So we will get hit that way unless we're at a distance. But with the Vulcan Barrel, it will stun them. The problem is that it stuns their death too. You will not even know that they're dead until you stop. Hell, they won't even drop their fucking metalhead gem until you stop and you let them die. This means that unless you know how many shots you can deal with these fuckers and how many shots you have dealt with the fucker, you'll be wasting ammo on an already dead enemy and you won't even realize it. Every other gun, when you take the final shot, they die immediately. But with the Vulcan Barrel, they only die when you stop shooting them. And you don't even know if they're dead or not. By the way, the orb, it can actually get stuck. I mean, it was fine there. It bounced all the way up here. But this motherfucker and his orb, it actually gets stuck. I miss it. It goes right through the floor. And now it's gone. I basically killed myself to get it back. But yeah, the Vulcan Barrel. I don't like this weapon. It can have its use of the stun ability, but that's about it. It is otherwise worthless. The weapons we got already, the red gun, the scatter gun, and the blaster. Both those weapons are better than the Vulcan fucking barrel. It honestly is, to me, one of the worst weapons in the game. It is not the worst weapon, though. We will get to that. It's the final weapon of the game. We will get to that weapon soon. Like, in a sooner part. But, right now, the Vulcan Barrel, it stuns great, but otherwise, not enough ammo, not enough use, and the stun is both a blessing and a fucking curse. It's just not a good weapon. And this level, this whole entire bit is designed essentially for this weapon because you do get ammo here. The ammo spot is right around the corner, in fact, right around this pillar. If you do get a Vulcan barrel uh, box, they give you a lot of ammo. But like I said, it's sparse and ammo boxes don't respawn. So... In case you were wondering, by the time I got back here, before I got to the boxes, I was nearly out of ammo at that point. And I only used it a few times. It was wasted hard. The fucking blaster and the scatter ammo, you will get more often than the Vulcan. So only use it for certain points. And even then, those certain points you can actually do with the blaster. Because the blaster and Vulcan aren't that different. In fact, the Vulcan is actually weaker than the blaster. So, even though Vulcan's faster, its stun and its limited ammo make it bad. So just use the blaster. It does more damage. It has the same range as the Vulcan. And trust me, you don't need the stun. You can deal with every enemy in this game without the fucking stun ability. The Vulcan is otherwise worthless in this game. And it's also worthless in Jack Free, but I'll get to that when we do Jack Free. Anyway. As you can see, I'm nearly dead, but uh, don't worry. I have the scatter, which will be useful for up close and a whole group of enemies. Like that. And the blaster, which would be useful to these two assholes up here. As long as I'm at a distance here, they can't hit me if I keep moving and shooting at them. Sure, it will take a little bit, but it's safe, it's smart, and I can't kill them quickly with this. 
And the thing is, I'll still have a fuck ton of ammo for any other use, so there's that as well. I'll keep the Vulcan ammo for when I need it, which will be usually as a backup weapon. But yeah, we did it. We got all the metalhead gems. We're all the way up here, and what the fuck is that? Is that... is that... No, it couldn't be. That's not... It's Samos' hut. But what? How? When? Where? Why? We're in the future, Dax. This horrible place is our world. Ladies and gentlemen, the big twist. The old town is Sandover Village. Yeah, dead town is Sandover Village. And Dax is like, let's go back to the city. We do have to go back the way we came, in the exact path. So I'm done cutting away from that and back to uh, Torn, essentially. But first... But first... We're gonna have this shit. And I did get some Dax text, we don't really need that. But yeah, as you can see, not much currently. But we're gonna see Torn because we have something also very important right now with Torn currently. The shadows decided it's time to meet you. Why is that place in the old ruins so important to you? There's a powerful energy force at the old house. The metalheads are drawn to it. No kidding. We used to know the guy that lived there. So, you're the new recruits who keep getting into trouble. Oh no, not you! Welcome to our humble underground movement. I am known as the Shadow, but you may call me Samos. And you are? Jeez, Jack, we went through all that to meet His Holiness, old log in the head, Grandpa Green? Don't you know who we are? Sorry, kid, never seen you before. And I never forget a face, especially one that ugly. So it begins. How is this possible? We came through the rift with you. I into the future, right? Yeah! You used to look older than dirt and uglier than a knotted stump. What gives? Did you get a little nip and tuck while we were gone? Listen, boys, I don't know what kind of twigs you've been chewing on, but I don't have time for this. We've got a baron to overthrow, a child heir to protect, an invasion of metalheads to stop, and a city to save. I'd say the schedule's pretty full. Besides, I haven't gone through any rifts. I hate teleporting. Sure sounds like the old Samos. Right now, I need you to go to Haven Forest and root out a few metalheads. That forest is my source of power, but I can't protect it much longer. Chase down and destroy all the metalhead scouts you find there. Good luck, and welcome to the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, Samos is back. Except it's not really Samos, it's young Samos. Oh boy. Shit just got real, didn't it? <laughs> So yeah, welcome to the future, everybody. Welcome to fucking Haven City. We also got the Vulcan Fury course we can do right now, and a scene player, which we'll get at the start menu. Uh, we haven't got the points for it, though. But yeah, next time in Jack 2, we're going to be doing some more missions. Oh, by the way, the high score for the Vulcan course isn't available until we do the Vulcan course. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time for the fight.